Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about Ethernet switches and broadcast domains. So, Ethernet switches operate in full duplex. And what that means is that uh, but when the NIC cart, which is by default, can operate in full duplex, then the switch port, if it's an auto negotiation, would also operate in full duplex. So that means that between the client or the, the, the device on the connected to the switch and the switch itself, that they can send and receive at the same time. And that includes between switches as well. So simultaneous communications, 100% bandwidth utilization. And if you're familiar with hubs, legacy hubs, we don't have to worry about collisions. Okay, so what is a broadcast domain? So what we mean by a broadcast domain is here we up here we have an Ethernet uh, an Ethernet frame and the destination MAC address when it is a broadcast and what that is is all F's in hex or 48 one bits right okay that means it is an Ethernet frame needed to be seen by all devices on the network. Let's take a look at what that means. Uh, let's take a look over on the right here, broadcast domain B, because this will kind of give us more options to know what we're looking at here. Uh, here we have legacy hubs, not good. You know what, and I'm gonna change this to a switch, because this is more real world, okay? So just so we know what, uh, the difference here is and now I'm actually going to attach another device here as well okay so let's say that we have a what's known as a ARP request which actually if you don't understand ARP yet we'll get there in another video but it uses a broadcast and let's say it's sent by computer A going to computer B okay. so it's going from A to B. So A is going to send it as a broadcast and it's coming from A. I'll just put A here in the source. Okay, so a switch, when it receives a broadcast, will flood it out all ports except the incoming port. So being a broadcast, it's going to send it out this port and this port, not back out the incoming port. This switch here will receive it, send it out all ports except the incoming port. The hub sends it out, sends everything out all ports but the incoming port. That's what hubs do no matter what. Talk about hubs in a, in a later video. But hubs send out everything out all ports uh, except the incoming port. Okay, but we're talking about broadcast domains here. Here's the key part, the router. When a router receives a Ethernet broadcast, it will process the broadcast because maybe this ARP request is for the, the IP address. We'll learn more about ARP later, so don't worry about it. But the ARP request perhaps concerns what this interface here on this broadcast domain. Okay. But what it won't do is it will not send the broadcast out other interfaces. This is the broadcast domain here. Routers segment the broadcast domain. They keep layer two ethernet broadcasts or any layer two broadcasts from going out into other networks. That's a good thing, right? Because we wouldn't want an ARP request, a broadcast on Cabrillo College's network to have to go and be seen by everybody in the world. That would be crazy, okay? <laughs> Not very efficient, okay? So what's key here is that routers segment ethernet broadcasts, okay? So remember this is the broadcast up here. You can read my writing, the destination address. Routers segment broadcast. So any broadcast 
sent by this device over here in broadcast domain A will not go into broad, in, not, will not be forwarded by the router into this other network and any broadcasts in broadcast domain B will not be forwarded into this network. All right, I hope that gives you a little bit better understanding of switches and broadcast domains.